Okay, so this afternoon we're going to try to fish this stretch of a river. I normally don't fish this stretch um, in the summer because there's a campground right here and there's usually a billion people. But we're going to give it a try now. There we go. First one. Little guy, because he was taken in the shallows over there, but it's still good. It's like a little brown, and he's off. Right in here. Another one, that's a little bit better fish. Yeah, it looks like another brown. Oh, and he's off. No worries. There we go. Another little brown, not as big as that last one that came off. There he is, right there. Come on, off you go. There you go. Good, he was right over there underneath those branches. I'm using the Air Stage Fuji Ru um, 360 6 4 today. Um, this is my favorite contact nymphing rod. I've got a, a few rods that I really. Oh, shoot. Tree. I've got a few rods that I really like using for contact nymphing, but this one. Um, beats them all in my book. It is amazing to cast, especially with tungsten bead fly on. Oh, fish right there, right where I waded through. Oh, and he's off as I bounced the tip. Well, there you go. I waded right through there and uh, didn't scare him. Anyway, this rod is fantastic. It's got great control over the fly. It's got really good control over the fish when you hook it. Um, It'll throw multiple flies without any issue. I just, um, I just really like this rod. It doesn't get a lot of press, which I think is a shame. And it's, uh, a really underappreciated rod.
ago. Little one. Still. Bunch of branches above my head. Come here. Come here. I'll get you off. There you go. I'm using this egg pattern again. There's a nice little brown. Because although I've fished this river many times, I've not fished this section. So I'm using the egg pattern as a uh, winter um, um, just uh, using it as a a winter um, exploration pattern. Gotcha. I could see him surfing the hydraulic cushion just above that big flat rock right there. It took me a few casts. He looked at it a few times, and, but uh, didn't go for it. This is a rainbow. So he's planted in this stream for the for the campground and he's made it through a season go. Took him out of that eddy. The fly that I got on now, since my last fly was taken from a tree, is uh, sort of a beadhead kabari. It's got a reinforced peacock body. And a grizzly hackle. Nice little brown. I don't know if you can see that, but that's it right there. The hackle is tied futsu style. Right there. Oh! <sighs> shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's a better fish. And keep him on. Nice brown. Yeah, oh no, maybe a rainbow. I don't know, let's see. And it's a rainbow.
Nice fish though. Largest trout of the day so far, about 14. That's good. Finally. There we go. Either had to be fish in there. Probably more than one. Make a nice brown, maybe about 13. Yep, nice fish. Good. Well, that's it for today. I hooked some nice fish, lost some nice fish, um, hooked a bunch of smaller ones. It's a pretty good stretch through here. Um, I'll have to come back and visit it again this winter. Anyway, this is a great rod. The uh, Nissen um, Air Stage Fujiru 360-64. It's a fantastic rod for all around Tenkara, um, but it uh, really excels at heavier flies, at least in my hands. So, I highly recommend it. It's a great rod. That's it for today, and I'll see you on the stream next time.